Right, welcome along everyone on YouTube there. Just as ever, I'm just going to set up my Facebook feed here. So uh, just excuse me for a moment. Let's get my live video. And I'll just check my angles and everything is working out okay here. Just checking out. Perfect. So you're all very welcome along. Um, as ever, um, whether you're watching live now or later in the day, you're very welcome along. And it has actually been very interesting to see people from different parts of the world, the US, Spain, um, and just people picking a time that works best for them. So that's absolutely fine, whether on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, it's great to have you, whether live or later in the day. Um, just if you are one and want to skip maybe one minute ahead and we will be into the workout just in case you aren't live uh, skip one minute ahead and we'll be into the workout friday session two o'clock so we will keep it light uh, all you need is your, your good sturdy chair at the ready and we're good to go so i'll just give everyone a minute to tune in there joan denise am i oh great to have you again start to recognize some of the names um, so you're all very welcome along. We'll get started now just in a couple of seconds. As ever, any kind of issues or anything, just let me know during the workout with the sound or anything, but we should be okay. I'm not going to push it too hard, as I say, especially on Friday. Um, a lot of you guys are doing a lot of good work, and it's great to see such uh, active participation in the workouts. But equally, it's good to have a slower session, kind of a little bit... Uh, we don't push ourselves too hard, but we still get nice movements, connections with the body, and get ourselves feeling good. Hi, Mary. Great to have you with us. And uh, Mary Ganley. Two Marys. Great to have you with us. And another Mary. Great to have you with us. All the Marys coming in. Um, so let's get straight into the workout. I'm going to begin with my shoulders with a gentle lift up and down. So I'm just going to lift the shoulders up and down to begin. YouTube, Mary Dunphy, great to have you with us. Uh, multitasking here, just trying to get the hellos in at the start. Just a lift of the shoulders up and down. Really like to begin. And from there, I'm just going to roll the shoulders back. Now, this might seem like a very simple one, but really it's just such a great movement. It probably comes up in every workout, regardless of the the kind of session it is, but it's just such a nice movement, especially when you're sitting down. It just feels really good to roll the shoulders back. The better you get with this movement, you can start to bring it in a kind of full plane. So what I mean is you can start to go by show from the side, forward, up, back and down. It mightn't be like that for you at the start, but over time you'll start to loosen it out. So what are you again, just think forward, up, back, and down. But don't worry if you can't get that kind of perfect four parts, but just getting the shoulders moving. Change direction, going forwards. So again, forward in circles. Mary Clark, just in from the walk. Good to have you with us. Yeah, again, I'm starting to remember the names, a couple of them. It's like being in a class now where you start to remember certain people. Sylvia, Michael. Um, and Siobhan, very welcome, and Kathleen, great to have you with us. So slowly forward. Okay, and next one, just shake the hands out. Um, something I'm kind of big on, you might notice in the sessions, sometimes I like to just focus in on these smaller little joints, not to forget about things like the fingers, the hands, the wrists, because they are all so important. And very simple, just sometimes shaking the hands out, a little bit of blood flow. Okay, just zooming in for this next one. Open and close, spread the fingers out. And again, for me, it's just like looking after any other part of the body, like your shoulders, your back, your chest, the fingers, really important throughout the day, opening things, TV remotes, um, just all those little tasks you do throughout the day. Fingers, really important. Just spread them out nice and wide. Okay, and because I did mention wrists, let's clench the hands and slowly go around. We'll just zoom in just so we can see that action slowly around in circles. 
really not going to be too worried if this is difficult, okay? You might find you can't rotate too well. Really don't be too hard on yourself with this one. It's just to get any movement at all. Back to the way. Sorry if YouTube just froze a bit there. Just slowly around. Any movement, a couple of clicks and cracks here. And back down. Perfect. Next one. I'm going to just straighten my position up. Uh, I always like some kind of rotation during the warm up and throughout the session. And I just pick different variations. Today, I'm going to lift the arms up and rotate to the right and rotate to the left. So, in a way, on this movement, I think of like moving my upper body separate to what's happening with lower body, i.e., my shoulders are parallel, they're in the opposite direction to my hips. And I can just take a little bit of a reset in the middle. So I'm not going to swing too fast from side to side. I just break the movement down with a little bit of a pause in the middle. Rotate to the right, rotate to the left. And again, just rotate to the right and over to the left. And let's go once more. And to the left. And back down. Perfect. Bring hands together. Um, so that's kind of upper. Now I'm just going to maybe feel the rotation a bit lower as I turn right and left with hands together. Again, big shout out to the guys in Caleric if you're watching today. Hope you're keeping well. So let's just rotate right and left. And once more in each direction. And down. Now, this next one, keep your hands together. You can even bring the fingers kind of right together. I'm going to keep my chest up. I'm just going to slowly drop arms between legs. Just slowly drop down. Again, this isn't about touching hands to the floor. It's just about gradually dropping the arms down between the legs. I'm pulling myself back up. So what I'm looking to do is keep my kind of core tight and my back straight. So I'm not trying to bend in this position, just lightly dropping the arms down. Two more. And once more. Perfect. Now, warming up the legs, I just always keep it fairly simple to begin. Just kick the legs out. And that's kind of something I'd always say with a warm up, I try not to overthink it too much. It's just light movement. Just get your body warmed up. Bring the heart rate slowly up and just feel a little bit looser. So this warm up kind of tells me if any parts of my body feel a bit stiff today. So if my right hip felt sore, at least I would know then before trying something a little bit more difficult. So let's just keep kicking the legs out for five more. Four, three, two, one. Into a march. Again, just a little bit of light movement. With the march, I always just say I like to not slam the feet down. Sometimes people stomp really hard. I'd always say keep it nice and light. So there's barely a sound as I drop the feet down. And I'm just lifting the knees up and down. And then I'm just going to slowly bring the arms in a little bit as well. So I'm just getting a full body working. Three, two, and one more. Perfect. And I'm going to work on the feet finally. Uh, I might just turn to the side a little bit just so you can see. Uh, if you walk the feet forward a little bit and begin lifting your toes up. It does come up on Facebook sometimes. If you can't see the movement, if you're watching on your phone, swipe to the right. I think it's swipe to the right and that gets rid of the comments just in case you couldn't see the action too well. So if you need to swipe away, you'll get a clear uh picture of everything that's happening here and YouTube or online there perfect walk your feet back a little bit now and then the action is to lift the heels up and as I said this is warming up so we're just getting a little bit of movement a little activation lifting the heels up okay next you can walk the feet just a little bit forward and bring the two parts together up on the toes, back on the heels. Rock the feet forward and back. 
and right to put it. So let's rock the feet forward and back. Up on the toes, back on the heels. So let's rocking forward and back. And let's keep going on this one. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Now, so that's us. Um, for our, that's our warm up completed. So let's continue on with some of our main work uh, into some movements. The way I'll always do this is kind of lots of repetitions, just trying to like feel the part of the body you're working, lots of reps, and I'll just give little bits of information as we go through them, I suppose, on what parts you're working on, what you're trying to feel. So to begin, I'm going to start with my chest. Just a movement I really like is to bring the hands up and press out from the chest. I think it's just always a nice way to just switch on to the chest. Hands faced forward and you're pressing away from your chest. Nice smooth press. I try and keep the hands roughly in line with my chest all the time. So you'll see they're not dropping down here. And I'm just pushing, pressing straight out from my chest. And I get a little bit of a squeeze as I press forward. So let's continue on, keep going there. Just checking out. Uh, Marie Lauder as well, great to have you with us. A lot of Marie's and Mary's on YouTube. Great to have you with us. So five more. Four, three, two, one. Next movement. Elbows in by your side. Right, like this. Clench the hands. Curl up and down. What we're going to do today is just put these, a couple of little supersets. So sometimes putting movements together. That's all that means. Like keep the hands clenched. And they curl up and down. So now I'm just trying to feel a little bit of a connection in the arms. And I'll always suggest squeezing, clenching the hands here. Just to get that nice tension feeling on your arms. Let me do another few here. Three more. Two. One. Perfect. Take a second. A few seconds. Set myself still nice and tall. Hands up again. And we'll repeat those two movements. So pressing out from your chest again. And I just like to show you from different angles, just that we're sure. Pushing out from chest, straight in front. And so you're just getting a little bit of an extra challenge here. When you put two movements together, repeat them. So sometimes it's nice to do things like that, just for a different kind of a challenge, just to keep it interesting for you guys as well. You just try a little different adaptions, putting different things together. Three more, two, one. Bring the elbows in, hands clenched, curl up and down. Again, just showing you from the side, my elbows roughly by my side, my hands are clenched, and I'm curling up towards my shoulders, getting a little bit of a squeeze in the arms. I'm curling up and down. And we'll continue on for five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Good little block, good little hit there. So hopefully you enjoy that one. What I will do next, I'm going to put another two movements together. Uh, we're going to work a little bit on the shoulders. And I think we'll work a little bit on our chest as well. Okay, so I'll show the two movements. We'll start with the shoulders. What I want you to do is bring the hands up. Um, any movement that doesn't feel good to you, I would say on this one, uh, don't force yourself to any pain. If the movement causes pain or isn't good for you, adapt the movement um, to something that works for you or just give yourself a little rest. But just don't do anything that hurts. Uh, so hands roughly side of my head. Press right arm up. Press left arm up. And that's why I just gave that little bit of, on this one because sometimes the shoulders are an issue for people and sometimes an overhead movement like this is an issue for people. So if this was something that caused you pain and that you couldn't comfortably do, then you don't have to do it. So there's no pressure here. Why I like to isolate this at first is just because maybe if there is one side that's a little bit tight, sore, you can really regulate by just breaking it down. So if my right side is strong, I can go up. If my left side was sore here, I wouldn't push beyond. 
So that's why it's just no harm to isolate sometimes. So they do three, two, one, and back down. Take a few seconds. I mentioned we're going to work chest here. So arms out, clench the hands, squeeze across my chest. So think of bringing your elbows towards each other. My elbows are roughly at about uh, shoulder level. Don't be too uh, specific here. I'm just across my chest, a little bit of a squeeze. So get a nice little connection, squeeze in my chest. With three, two, one. And rest down. Take a couple of seconds, take a little breather. And again, we're going to superset. So we're going to put those two movements together again. But again, if particularly the overhead just isn't good for you, then I'd say just take a little breather on that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, hands roughly side of my head. And I press alternating one side at a time. And again, I can just really control the range. So I'm not going to push through any kind of a pain here. Just staying in a range that feels comfortable for me. Just pressing up one arm at a time. And that's all powered from my shoulder on each side. Five, four, three, two, and one. And I just rest the arms down. Take a few seconds, a little breather. Working on the chest. So elbows out, hands clenched, arms across chest. So I get a little squeeze, open back out. And I like to bring the elbows towards each other. So think like a butterfly motion on this one. In, out, squeeze in, open back out. And we'll continue on. We'll just get five, four, three, two, one. And back down, take a little rest. So that was two blocks of kind of putting movements together. I say it's just a little bit different, just to keep it interesting um, uh, for different level of challenge. But really good work there. We'll give the upper body a bit of a break now and move down to the lower body. So what we'll do first is a pullback. I'm going to show you this one from the side. Um, how would I like to do this one? I sit myself forward, slightly in the chair, on the heel of my right foot. So on the heel of the right foot, pull back onto my toes and straighten out. So the action is pulling back. I go from the heel to the toes. Heel to toes. There's a couple of reasons I like this. You're getting a little bit of movement in the ankle, which is good. We're getting a nice controlled movement of the knee, so that's good. And you might get a little bit of connection with the hamstring back of the leg. And this is one that can be an issue for people. So um, this can also be good. So there's a couple of reasons I like that one. Pull your leg back, straighten out. Some people will find this hard going back, and I wouldn't force it. So if it feels really tight and stiff, don't feel you have to get onto the toes. Just lightly curling back. Not too vigorous. Three more. Two. And one. And rest. I'm going to swap sides. Let's check everything okay there. Afternoon, Audrey, Betty, how are you? So, next one, left leg. Again, I'm just slightly forward in the chair. It just helps me with the setup. On the heel of my left foot, pull back onto my toes. So again, I go heel, toes, heel, toes. So again, you can see in my foot how I'm getting that nice movement in the ankle, like the toes lifting up, pulling back. I'm getting nice movement in the knee, very controlled. And I might feel different parts of the legs from a muscular point. might feel the thigh a little bit. And I might feel a little bit here on the back of the leg and my hamstring. So a couple of different things, and people will feel different things. So uh, just because I might say uh, one part of the leg, you might feel another part. You might feel the hip. You might feel the ankle more, and that's okay. Two, one, and rest down. Just take a kind of little shake out there. Just lightly lift and a rock up and down. 
So what I want to do next is a heel march. I might show you from a few different angles. Um, what I want to do is keep the toes of my feet locked to the ground. So they stay firm, uh, they stay on the ground, and I just lift my right heel, lift my left heel, one at a time. So I'm gonna show you this from the side in a second. So I think of this as marching on my heels. My toes stay to the ground, and I lift one heel up at a time, and it's a fluid movement marching. So I'm gonna to turn to the side now, just in case. I'm not really sure what we're doing on this one. Right heel up, left heel up. So just lifting one up at a time. And as I say, my toes stay firm to the floor all the time. So it just seems like you're marching your heels up one side at a time. And I like to go quite high, so let's go 10. More of these. Go five, four, three, two, one, perfect. Now, we're going to do the opposite action, so the movement will be lifting toes one at a time. I'll start from the front. Make sure your foot position is good and comfortable, so um, not too far ahead, not too far back. Just make sure it feels good to you. Keep the heels down, and I lift right foot up, left foot, the toes, one at a time. So like a march with the toes, lifting right and then left. Again, it seems like such a simple action, and the same lift the toes, but when you break it down and isolate one at a time, it's actually surprising uh, how you might find one side is tougher. But again, like this is part of walking, lifting the toes, lifting the heels, really important. Um, so good to give it that little bit of attention. Let's keep it going. I'm going to turn to the side just so you guys can see. Right foot up, left foot up, just lifting the toes. Heel stays planted, toes lift one at a time. And go five, four, three, two, one. And then uh, might feel a little pull along the tibia there, and that's natural. You would expect to feel a little bit there. So great work on that one. Really impressive um, work so far. Uh, let's do a little bit on the shoulders. I'm going to do this one. I haven't done this one in a while. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Arms out. Okay. Clench the hands. And what I want to do is just go slowly around in circles, keeping the arms straight. Now, I could do this out by my side if I have plenty of space. That might feel better. But just in case you are a bit restricted with space, um, just to be careful on this one, um, keeping it in front. And just so that you can see the action. Change direction. Keeping the arms straight. Keeping the hands clenched. Slowly around. And I'll just do five more. Four, three, two, one, and rest down. Take a few seconds. I'm going to do that a second time. So, again, if you prefer to do that out by your side, that's fine. If you have the space, by all means, you can do it that way. Arms in front, slowly around. But I just want to show you from the front just so you can see the action. Uh, how controlled I go. I'm not going to go fast. Uh, it's natural that we take off with this movement. Keep it slow, keep it steady. Really don't need to go too fast. Change direction because you'll be surprised how quickly the arm shoulder just starts to tire here. So keep it slow, keep it steady. About five more. Four, three, two, one, and rest down. Take a little breather there. Okay, so next we're going to do another shoulder movement, but this is a really nice movement. Um, that last one is tough enough, but this one should feel quite good. Set up. Elbows in by your side, so I'm going to straighten my position. Elbows in. The action is to open the arms out. So I'm just kind of standing just to show you, and um, you're fine in your seated position, but I just want to show you the action very clearly from a couple of angles. I try to keep my elbows in 
as I open the arms wide. So I'm not letting the elbows lift out. Don't worry if they lift out a little bit, that's fine. But you're just consciously trying to keep it as a rotation from your shoulder. You can see how I'm opening out my position. And this is external rotation. So going in that outwards here, lifting the arms outwards. Keep the elbows in, open the arms out. I clench the hands here again, and it just helps me connect better with this motion. So we'll do another five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Very simplistic explanation would be that's good for the rotator cuff, which allows rotation movements in different directions for the shoulder. And that's a really nice kind of low impact movement to try. A really good one um, that I use myself a lot. If, if I wanted to lift weights in the gym, for example, I would do that motion before. I find it's really good before putting weight on the shoulder. But I do like that movement a lot. Right leg up next. Uh, let's keep the foot up off the floor and extend the leg out. And again, I just find this makes the leg extension a little bit of an extra challenge. This makes it a little bit more interesting, keeping the foot up off the ground. If you find it really tough, let the foot down as a little bit of a reset, that's fine. Extend out a little pause and back in. And if you guys continue, just to show you from the sides, just so we're clear on that movement, leg goes out, foot stays up off the floor. That's great. And I feel a little squeeze on the thigh. And again, I was even a little bit fast there. Do you just have to remember a little bit of a pause? I don't want to swing up, down, up, down. Just keep it nice controlled. Two. And one. And back down. I say it's surprising. It's for me, some of these movements, it's just those little manipulations, adaptions can make something much harder, i.e. having the foot up. So what can be kind of maybe a little bit Boring or you're not getting much challenge from. Simple thing, bring the foot up and make it that little bit harder. But there's no pressure on that. Do the level that's comfortable to you. But I just like to give people options, choice. You can kind of explore what works best to give you a bit more um, challenge. Left foot up, extend the leg out and back down. Extend out, pause, back down. And I feel a little bit of a squeeze in my thigh. And if you need to rest the foot down, that's fine. And uh, this leg extension, probably like a fundamental movement. If you said one movement I could do every day to build up my thigh, a bit of strength, uh, this would be the one. Uh, really good movement. Um, strengthening muscle around the knee. So you're getting movement from the knee, but keeping the muscle above it strong. If this muscle gets weak, it can put more pressure on the knee, equals more pain. So if I keep this leg strong, it can take better impact when I walk, move, um, like stepping off things, it can absorb. The muscle can take the load better. One more, and back down. Great work there. Feel the legs switched on now, actually. That was nice uh, on the thighs. So... And um, what we'll do next is a little bit on the hips always. We do like a little bit on the hips always. Um, just going to give you a little breakdown on this one. Bring your right leg out. And what I want to do is rotate the leg in and out. So I'm going to show you that. My leg is out. Try and rotate the leg in and out. So in and out. Now you might, all you maybe can see on the camera there is my foot turning, and that's fine. But I want you to realize my whole, I'm powering from my hip. If this is tough, hands on the leg to support. And gently guide your leg, rotate in, rotate out. And that's a really nice movement of the hip. And it might be very small. So don't worry about like how far you can turn here. Not Thinking along those lines, I'm just thinking a little bit of a rotation. I go three, two, one. Perfect. And back down. So just to show you like from, uh, what I mean is you're doing this kind of an action in a seated position. And you can see how I'm rotating from my hip. 
all you see maybe there is the foot, but the whole leg is working together. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do here. Very simple movement, but really does uh, target that hip. Left leg out, feel free to support your leg with the hands. Gently rotate in, rotate out. And again, sometimes just giving the leg a bit of support here can be nice. Maybe you don't need it, and that's fine. You just gently rotate in, rotate out. And I'll just go five more, in and out. Four, three, two, one, and rest down, okay? As I said, it might look really kind of simple to do, but it's not easy. It's tough for anyone, any age and movement like that. And great to target and work on those hips. Uh, after that one, let's just lightly rock the feet forward and back. Just take a little bit of a breather after that one. Rock the feet forward and back. Open your toes back on the heels. And just because that might have felt as a little bit kind of, Tight, a little bit of soreness in the hips around that one. So just a little bit of a breather here. Rock the feet forward and back. Up on toes, back on heels. Okay. So next, um, what we'll do is uh, maybe another little bit on the shoulders, if that's okay. So I'm going to straighten my position. Bring the arms out and thumbs are up. So I just use the thumbs as a guide on this one. That's all. It doesn't really matter the thumbs. They just give me a guide. Rotate down, rotate up. So just to show you even from the sides uh, what I'm doing. Rotate down, rotate up. So it's a really controlled rotation from the shoulders. You could even do this one side at a time. Um, and as I say, all that's happening, the thumbs just give me a guide that I can see. I'm moving from the shoulder, thumbs up, thumbs down. But the thumbs aren't really important. It's just more of a visual cue that I can look and see that I'm getting a bit of rotation and movement from the shoulders. So again, thumbs up, thumbs down. And we'll just do our last couple here. Three more. Two. One. Excellent. And you can use that one with your dinner later on. If someone cooks or something, you can give them a thumbs up or down if you like. So useful little one. Now, right leg. And uh, we're going to bring the foot up off the ground. And uh, what I want to do is lift out to the side. So sometimes I do this keeping the foot up. Sometimes I'll do it as a step. Sometimes with the leg out. Loads of choice here. The way I'll do it today is lift the foot up, step out, and down, lift up, and back in. So just lift up and step out, lift up and step back in. Just gonna make sure you can see all that in camera. So lift up, out, and down. What you're doing here is working from your hip, really controlled. It, again, it might not look too hard, but when you're actually doing it, it can really feel uh, tight around the hip again. Really important motion, really important movement, and really important that we're working from the hips. What I would say always on this one, not to force it too far. So if it feels tight, stiff, don't force it really far that you're feeling pain. Uh, there's nothing wrong with dripping this back and going for a much smaller step. Just a little lift flat to the floor, and lift back in. But I want to kind of achieve a position where my foot is flat to the ground. Sometimes I'd see in classes that we strain it too much and we can only tip the toes down. I should be able to get the foot flat to the floor. So kind of keep it in a natural position. And back in, okay? Swap sides, my left the leg now. Lift out to the sides and back in. And I'm just getting a small lift every time. Um, well, I have my bottle here. I can even illustrate. So I can just imagine lifting over a small little object. So I'm lifting the foot over and back. Just imagine like stepping over a little wall. Over and back. The rest of my body is fixed. And it's all from that left hip for me. Three more. 
and two, and one. And back in, perfect. Again, by all means, grab a drink of water if you want at this point. Take a couple of seconds. Any point during the workout, if you just feel you need a little rest, um, something sore, painful, leave it out. Give yourself a little break. No pressure at all here. Just do a couple of movements around the upper body. Uh, these are kind of, I find if you feel a bit of tightness around the chest, shoulders, these are nice little movements. And we'll build them up. Hands onto your shoulders. What I want to do is start off lifting one elbow up at a time. So these might start quite light, but we'll build them up and try some slightly more challenging variations as we go along. One elbow up at a time. Just showing you from the sides. Elbow goes no higher than about shoulder level. And you just work within the range that's good to you. Now pause, keep the position. I should say, if this is tight, don't worry about physically touching the shoulders, just roughly towards. Two elbows up together now. So I'm lifting my two elbows. So just kind of nice control, bringing the shoulders to a little bit of a range of movement here. Lifting the elbows up. Nice and slow, just lifting up. Three more. Two. One. Just rest our arms down, take a couple of seconds. And so I'm gonna do build one or two around that movement. Again, hands on shoulders, elbows in front, open right, open left. Now again, some of us might find that we can't really fully open, maybe there's a bit of tightness. Don't force it, just slowly open as far as you comfortably can. If I can get kind of fully lateral to my side, that's great. If not, don't force it always. Just keep it in a range that's good to you. Really opening out the shoulder. Getting a little bit of a stretch in the chest as well here. Pause. Take a few seconds. Two parts together now. Lift the elbows out. Slowly open out to your side. And you've just built it up slowly from one at a time. Just to see how it progresses when you're doing the two. If it's too difficult, just do the one. And I don't want to kind of hammer us with any movements today, just hopefully movements that feel nice to you. Three more, two, one, and back down. Just give those arms, shoulders a little break. Just kind of let the arms hang free here. Next variation, what I'm going to do is bring my hands to my shoulders from the side, okay? And from there, Sorry, I'll do one at a time. I jumped the gun there too fast. Right elbow, left elbow, one at a time. I'm just showing you I'm in a lateral position here. So the hands are on shoulders, and you just lift the elbows out by your side, one at a time. So you can just really regulate and slow this just to see the range that's good for you. If it feels good, now I lift the two together for about five more reps. And four, three, two, and one, okay? And their movements, I would always say, just to perform slow. So if you go real down fast, it'll just feel a bit tight. So keep it slow, keep it steady, and really control the range that feels good for you would be my advice on that one. Uh, so we'll do a last couple of movements and then a couple of stretches. I'll just finish off um, with a little bit of kind of lower and upper body together. And I might just bring a little bit of coordination in here as well. My right arm, my right leg, I want to just extend out and pull back. So extend out, pull back. So if you guys continue, I'm gonna show you from the side, extend, pull back, extend, pull back. So my foot's going from roughly a heel to a position. And I'm pressing the arm. I like a little squeeze in the back, a little press forward. But just think, keep it light, right arm, right leg. Swap sides, rest that right side. Now my left arm and left leg, extend out. So left arm, left leg. Let's keep that one going. I'm gonna go back to center. Left arm, left leg. 
Okay, now we're gonna go right arm, left leg. Right arm, left leg. I know on the camera it might look the opposite, so uh, we're just saying right arm, left leg. We're just that it's the opposite arm, opposite leg. And my aim is to confuse on this one. <laughs> confuse myself easily here if I'm not careful. Swap side, left arm, right leg. And again, these are just a little bit fun. Don't uh, worry too much. Like part of the fun is in a group setting. Um, I sometimes do this, people go wrong. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just a, good to have a movement that makes you think a little bit. Left arm, right leg. Bring it together, fluid movement. Opposite arm and leg, swapping sides. Opposite arm and leg, each time. So it looks like right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And you're just bringing it into one fluid movement and you're getting the body, that's what the body does. It all works together as a unit from lower to upper. It's all working together. So we've just brought little parts now into big full body movements. On five, four, three, two, one, and down. Perfect. So just sit kind of comfortably back. Um, just gonna lightly roll the shoulders back. You'll see here, I've kind of rested my hands now. It's not necessary, but I've tried to really isolate the movement in the shoulders now. So my hands are together. So I'm not letting anything help out in a sense. I'm just trying to see if I can keep this really controlled in the shoulders. And maybe at the start of the session, this would have been difficult. We'd find the whole body wants to move. But maybe now we have just a little bit more control here. But don't worry if the arms are moving a little bit, they will. Change direction, roll forward. And again, I'm just seeing if I can do this without my arms taking over the movement. So I'm isolating, I'm making sure it's the shoulders that are moving here. And back down, perfect, okay. Now, what we'll do, a couple of stretches now, um, just to finish off. I said I don't like to push too hard on Friday. A lot of good work and a lot of good work throughout the week. Um, and it's great to see how hard people are working. So a couple of stretches. I'm going to bring my right leg out. Point the toes forward first. And um, this is just kind of a favorite. I'll always do it. I just think it's great to move in the ankle um, and just the back of the lower leg. Pull your toes back. Point the toes forward, hold, and then again pull the toes back, and down. Left foot up, and I always warm up or stretch and through the workout. Ankle is so important to think the first part of your body when you get up in the morning, you're on your feet walking, moving around, so ankles really are so important. Point the toes forward and then pull the toes back. So the more flexibility, the more range, the stronger I am with my ankles, the better it will be. Point the toes forward, and then again, pull the toes back, and rest down, perfect. Next, big lift of that right knee, hold. If it feels good, I'm gonna hold my knee and gently pull back. And for me, this always feels nice, kind of lower back, a little bit of squeeze in my glutes, and um, just feels quite nice. Um, I'd sometimes say to people, if you find you're holding this really tense and you're kind of shaking a bit, just relax it a little bit. And um, it's a stretch, so I don't want it to be too hard. Might feel a little bit of kind of hold a stretch, that's good, but not too tight, not too tense. Back down. Bring your left knee up. So in position, you can hold on to the knee and just very lightly bring the knee up. So I'm not pulling down, it's rather the knee raising towards chest. And then it's gonna hold for a couple of seconds. And back down. Just moving into my upper body. Um, just because if you have arms on the chair, just be careful to kind of lift them out here. Palms of the hands face forward, and just lightly pull back. Um, and you'll see that I'm kind of opening out my chest. Uh, my arms have pulled back, so that's my position. And I hold this stretch. And just relax. 
Again, gently pull the arms back open out the chest. And this one should feel quite nice. Squeezing shoulder blades together a little bit here and opening out the chest and switching those shoulders onto a stretch as well. And you know, that feels so good. Why not one more time? I'm actually really liking this one. It feels really good. So I'm just going to hold that one more time. And back down. So that one felt really nice. Uh, next, my hug stretch. Well, it's not me personally, but a hug stretch. Just kind of bring the arms out, relax the elbow, so not straight, just kind of relaxed. Give yourself a hug, that's the motion. So arms come across chest, um, not too tight, just what you're doing here is stretching out your shoulders a little bit. Um, so hold that position, and then open out. And then I'll bring the opposite arm on top. Don't force this, if it's a bit tight, like don't force this, that you're trying to really struggle here. Just roughly, kind of a light hold here. And then open back out. Let's do that two more times. Again, just think giving yourself a hug. Always nice in any case. And then open out. And once more. And open out. And relax down. Um, just going to lightly, uh, one side at a time here, just bring my right shoulder up and then the left shoulder. And say so sometimes it's nice to just isolate, break a movement down. If you do them together, maybe one side is doing most of the work. Um, maybe one side can't go as high, and that's fine. I'm just giving each side that little bit of attention here. For three more, two, and one. Now, finally, um, we'll do a little bit of light breathing just to help relax down. Very simple technique. I want to take purse slip. So this means air in, one, two, through the nose, and then as if I had a straw in my mouth, five second release of air. I'll zoom in a bit more. Um, Marion, Marie, great to have it, and Wynn, great stuff. Um, so just think one, two, air in, five seconds. If I had a straw in my mouth, release. Again, one, two, air in, Five second release. One, two, air in. Slow release. Last two. And last time. Perfect, so that's us finished. Uh, just a little technique, if you ever feel a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed, something simple like that, air in one, two, and just a slow up to five second release. Um, so that's us finished for today, really well done. I hope you all have a great weekend. I know we have a mobility and stretch session tomorrow at 11, but we just like to keep a little bit lighter because people are working out so well. Uh, do just also give yourselves that little bit of a rest and really well done. Hope you have a nice weekend and great work uh, to everyone this week uh, on the workouts. Brilliant stuff. Well done, YouTube. Well done, Facebook. Stuff. And well done, everyone, Marie. Um, well done, Mary. Mary, great work, everyone there. And Caleric, if you're watching again, brilliant stuff.